Welcome back to the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. At only 17 years of age, she was the youngest number one in South African tennis history. At only 20 years old, she was the number one ranked doubles player in the whole world. Let's meet Alana Kloss, currently the CEO and Commissioner of World Team Tennis. World Team Tennis was co-founded by Billie Jean and Larry King. And tennis has always been an amazing individual sport, but I think the piece that has been lacking is to make it a huge sport in America. Billie Jean and others really believe team is the way to go. If you look at World Team Tennis, you'll see Billie Jean's philosophy in life, which is men and women competing together on a level playing field. Her victory over Bobby Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes in 1973 gave her the platform to get that message out. I'm a big fan of Billie Jean King, what she's done for women's sports. It's cross tennis, it's just sports in general, and I think she's just a pioneer, and um, now look what she's doing with World Team Tennis, it's, it's great. We have, you know, from John McEnroe to Martina Hingis to Venus Serena Roddick, uh, and then some of the young up-and-coming stars. So we want to showcase three generations of players. I just think World Team Tennis is an amazing format. You get to see men, women, singles, doubles, mixed everything in three hours and, and uh, it's a perfect you know, night, it's a perfect three hours I think for fans to come out and watch. The good part about team tennis, you get together for this couple week period, you get, you try to pump each other up and it's a nice thing. 2010 marks the 35th season of World Team Tennis. The Western Conference is a very close race. Right now the Springfield Lasers are in first place at eight and four, led by the excellent singles play by Rick DeVost. Right behind them at seven and five are the Kansas City Explorers, led by the husband and wife team of Jarmilla and Sam Groff, tied for third of the Sacramento Capitals and the St. Louis Aces at six and six. The Eastern Conference has been extremely competitive and very exciting. In first place, the New York Sport Times at eight and five, led by John McEnroe, Kim Kleisters, Robert Kendrick, Jesse Witt, and Ashley Hockerod, and Abigail Spears, they have an incredibly well-rounded team. But right behind them at seven and five, the Washington Castles, the defending World Team Tennis champions. The Boston Lobsters are seven and six, just a half a game out of playoff contention. What World Team Tennis can provide is great professional competition in communities that uh, might not have professional tennis, and I think that's really important. And it's important to showcase our, our, uh, our sport in a different way. And, uh, Hopefully, um, you know, we've been able to be a positive element, uh, you know, to our sport because that's really our goal is to bring the fan in and take tennis to the people. Dr. Vijay Vaad is the preeminent tennis health expert to many of the ATP World Tour players. This week, he helps us try and avoid the dreaded rotator cuff tendonitis on this week's Tennis Medical Update. Tennis Medicine Update is brought to you by the MD System, clinically proven rapid pain relief topical. I'm Dr. Vijay Vard for Health Tips. Today's topic is rotator cuff tendonitis, one of the most common injuries in professional and recreational tennis players. The rotator cuff has a lot of loads placed on it, especially during the slowdown phase of the tennis serve, what I call the breaking phase. Maria Sharapova is a notable example of a high profile tennis player with rotator cuff issues hers having required surgical intervention. However, vast majority of rotator cuff injuries can be treated non-surgically and conservatively. The key is proper stretching and strengthening. The first is a cross chest adduction stretch. It must be done lying down, 15 seconds, five repetitions. This is to stretch the capsule in the back of the shoulder that allows the shoulder to move freely and takes the pressure off the rotator cuff. The second, is an external rotation strength stretch. Ideally should be done with a partner in order to do negative strengthening of the rotator cuff. Pretend like your elbow is nailed to your side of your body and bring it up. You should have a little bit of resistance while your partner is helping you push it down and it should be 15 repetitions per set and five sets. This is what minimizes injuries of the rotator cuff. Proper stretching and strengthening of the rotator cuff will keep it pain free with power in your surf. Remember to stretch and strengthen to stay fit. I'm Dr. Vijay Vaad. This tennis medicine update was brought to you by the MD System, clinically proven rapid pain relief topical. For more information, visit the mdsystem.com or call 1-800-313-5056.
Later, the editors from Tennis Magazine discuss famous rivalries. And after the break, Venus and Serena face off at the world's most famous arena for the Billie Jean King Cup. Who takes it home? Find out next, right here on the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas.